music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on display. Just missed with the left there. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Rips the body there for good measure. Fast leg kick lands. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Pereira. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and no shot. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, and now he shot. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kill. 15 seconds remain in the round. Uppercut is true. Huh. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. Dropping his left hand, leaving his jaw wide open for him to stay on the outside, pumping with the jaw. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through you ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, a huge block there. Well, here it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, Chief. I'm surprised you're still standing. Because if Alex Pereira lands that left hook, generally you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, a big right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Whips on the straight right hand. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things.
paper, AM to PM, come like Christina Milligan. Think twice if you wanna get silly and dumb, I'll send man a box like Yo. Millian. Don't play, I'll send man a box. Ow. Ain't no chicken and chips inside. Don't play my songs, you ain't your girl. Don't call you a leak if you missed the drive. Keep to myself and I'm not too hyped, so nobody saw when I dipped inside. Money in a bank if I grip this mic, I'll send man a box no rips inside. Top of the game just falling. What are you gonna do with this brand new morning? Tunnel vision, but I might help you. So I didn't see when the hate was forming. Hear my style when I see them drooling. Can't be music, I play no calling. In the background, chilling, calling. Could have been different if I put my all in. Okay, brand new day, I'm brilliant. Afro hair like William. Don't play, got skill like Brazilian. One day I'm gonna make more than a million. Thinking paper, AM to PM. Come like Christina Millian. Big fight if you wanna get silly and dumb, I'll send my box like Dillian. Okay. Brand new day, I'm brilliant, afro hair like William. Don't play, got skill like Brazilian. One day I'm gonna make more than a million. Thinking paper, AM to PM, come like Christina Millian. Think twice if you wanna get silly and dumb, I'll send man a box like Dillian. Man, no, I'm a rhymers. Any tempo, I'm a glider. Got my white air ones in a boot, but I step in the Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Standing room only in this arena tonight because they have all come to see these two men. As round one gets underway between Jose Aldo and Max Blessed Holloway, what do you think Aldo needs to do differently to get his hand raised in what has proven to be a very difficult matchup? It's a very difficult matchup. What he needs to do is not rush. He has to take his time, stay within himself, understand that he's not going to just get Max Holloway out of there. He's going to have to withstand the storm and maybe have to fight him over the course of 25 minutes. Beautiful timing and placement to land the flying knee. How good is this action about a minute in? We've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Straight to the body by out. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alba. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. This is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. Nice crack there. Oh, perfect head kick there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean... It's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. With conviction to the body. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. He'll get active. Lands another combination to the head. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo all night mixing up his weapons absolutely beautifully on the field. He's mixing them up beautifully, and he's doing a great job of recognizing, hey, this is where I'm best. I know my hands are great. I know my grappling's great. But when I get these leg kicks going, no one can go with me. It's showing again why Jose Aldo is just a man. Nice jab by Alba. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the belt. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight.
Well, good pace to this one. Round two is here already. The King of Rio, Jose L versus Max Holland. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already. And DC, I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eye. Now it's time to start being on high alert. Holloway's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that. Oh, yeah, there's not that punch right there. His opponent capitalized this. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a Just a relentless the nigga the kill. here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it.